Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Creeper World 4. That is right, we are back heading into the colony section yet again for another cursor map. That is right, we are going for Tricky Corpse Neo Cursor Maps. So there's a series of these, so I do want to go through that. Uh, and Tricky Corp, uh, I believe, is the developer of the cursors, so, so impressive. Very awesome. Love it. And this apparently has... A beam cursor. I don't know what that means. I'm very excited. Haven't even looked at the map. So, ooh, this is actually kind of, kind of small. Whoa. Holy moly. Okay. Commander, we've lost all our remaining techs. That weird orb thingy deleted all of them. It's given us an offer, though. Either it can recover all of our techs, or it can join us on our conquest. As a crusader researcher, I must remind you that discovering unknown techs has always been important to uh, reaching breakthroughs. I am also... I'm also a Crusader researcher, but I disagree. Let's just get our text back. I'm the commander, so I get to decide. And as your commander, I say that this is the perfect opportunity to become accepted by the other by the other again. Uh, just think of what they'll say. We'll be the first to gain the trust of the seemingly powerful, very powerful relic. I don't know, boss. Seems like you're just trying uh, anything not to get fired from questioning uh, Crusader, er, from the questing Crusaders. Yeah, I vote to take a uh, new commander. Everything went wrong after we got this one. I know things went wrong, but those were outside my control. Just give me this last chance. I have a gut feeling things will go very well for us. Okay, but no, no more, no more than one chance. If you fail this, you're getting thrown into space. Whoa, whoa, whoa! No need to throw people into space. If things go wrong, we should just return to HQ and accept whatever happens next. I suppose this makes more sense. Yes. I trust the commander. I'm sure it won't have to have to be like this anyway. Uh, I'm not sure why I joined the worst crusader party, but at least this is getting interesting now. We're accepting officer. Offer? Wait. We're accepting their officer. Seems we need to press the I key and use the cursor to point it where we want to beam down anti-creeper. Whatever that means. I have the highest hope for this word. Time to see what it actually does. Okay, so I will beam down Anti-Creeper. That is the orb. The cursor beam. So does that mean we can literally just take over spots? Like, for instance, let's start just right there. I guess unpause on that. Well, let's take a look at the map. It's very quite a small map, honestly, overall. Uh, we have a large number of split breeders. We have a Creeper breeder over there, and we have AC breeders over there. So let's unpause and hit I right away. Oh, so we move the orb, and the orb will beam down Anti-Creeper, I suppose. Uh, do we have Cursor Power? Can't tell? Uh, I hope that orb will... Okay, so the orb is over there doing its thing. Uh, okay, so this is not an actual Cursor Cursor map. This is sort of a place the beam map, it looks like, right? So maybe every 30 seconds, maybe AC will, will spawn from the beam? How does this work? Uh, beam down AC over here. You can do it. I believe in you. Uh, maybe we do have cursor power. I'm not 100% sure. Let's see. Do we have cursor power? It doesn't feel like it. May oh, maybe it'll only spawn more AC if it's in AC? Okay, so that's what it is. We don't have cursor power. We have the ability to move this orb with our cursor and eye, and that's essentially our cursor power. That's actually pretty cool. I kind of like that. I kind of like that because it allows us to uh, not worry about where our mouse is all the time. You know, I don't have to be like, whoop, whoop, whoop. I don't even have to turn on the uh, map indicator. Uh, I think what we're going to do then is uh, plan this out. You know, we're going to keep moving this bad boy down and use our relic to our advantage right uh clearly take this area out hold this grab up there it's gonna be grand and then from there we're gonna expand probably to this side and then attack from both sides of course right multi-side attack multi-prong you know we're we are so good at that um and look at this we're already taking uh, this breeder over here let's keep moving our orb <coughs> definitely an interesting take on the cursor map i like it a lot I did see in the final level, I think you get nine orbs. So now it makes sense about these orbs, right? <laughs> I was like, I don't know what nine orbs mean. Uh, but now I do. So an orb is essentially just a static cursor. So you can 
Like, if we had two, we could very well have one on this side, one on that side, and be split pushing on, to one degree, and also uh, still attacking and stuff, so very, very cool. I look, I really like to see where this goes in the future. So let's, uh, you know, because we don't have to worry about the cursor at all. Ooh, I don't really like from top down for sure. I do like it from here. We do want to get up there as soon as possible. That way we can start doing some good stuff. So let's, now if I, yeah, see if I'm in the creep, it doesn't do anything. So very, very, very small movements. Let's just get our AC over here, get it over. We're almost there, but we unfortunately got a breeding cycle, you know. As it goes, perfectly fine. This should get to the top, though. And there we go. Now we've taken the aisle. Okay, fantastic. Love it, love it, love it. Let's start working this way. If I hold... Okay, so if I hold I, it will act like a cursor. I suppose. Uh, I'm not going to do that, though. I kind of like the thought of, you place it, it does its thing, and then you move it. Because, you know, it's a, it's a different style cursor map. But we definitely want to grab these, and then we can start doing our multi-prong assault. This is a nice introductory level, uh, now that I know. Um, so, fantastic. We'll probably do a second one as well, because, you know, especially now that I know what's going on, this is an introductory level for sure. We're probably going to be done before the 10-minute mark, I would hope, at this rate. Uh, so, especially going at times 2 speed and things like that. Uh, we probably could go to times 4, but, you know, I... My computer's not necessarily the best, I will admit. Uh, so, I'd rather it just run nice and smooth. Got the nice 60 down there, so I'm feeling pretty good about that number. Didn't know about that number until people from the comments told me, so thank you so much for that. And here we go. We're cutting it off from this direction, which is grand. We're going to take this uh, next set. Now, unfortunately, this is very deep, so we are kind of in a problem there. So, maybe we will focus on, like, the split. Right, push from this direction, push from the center-ish, try and take this one out, and then work our way down. I think that'll be a little bit more effective, you know, because we do have multiple directions that we can assault this one from. Doesn't, I'd say it doesn't look as deep, but that, you know, that's the same depth. You know, it's, just, it's the same depth. But we have that coming in from the other side as well. So, as you can see, now that's flooding in, which will flood in this that much better. Unfortunately, it did, of course, just get its breeding cycle. And, you know, that's stand it's standard affair. But we're draining it substantially faster now, thanks to our multi-sided assault. And we even have some in the bottom, I hope. So, can we get it down there? Is that going? Is that for us? It is for us. We did take out the first pool, so to speak. So now, we're just... We're just handling it, right? Uh, and with this, we can come from the front. We're actually going to try and come from the back. And again, backdoor friends, A, our best. But again, it's just pushing naturally from the front. So the more directions that we can sort of push in on this, the better. Uh, it is doing its breeding cycle right now. Kind of sucks. It happens. But by coming from the back, we're also going to cut out its support from the back as well. Uh, and you can see that's actually draining substant like super fast. I mean, so it's drained naturally. We didn't even have to do anything to it. Um, so easy peasy, and this one, of course, will fall to the might of the blorb, uh, the blue orb indeed. So we'll come from the side, this will push naturally from the other side, but, you know, we're, we're pushing it from the back. Uh, and actually this is even better, because it's just going up against the wall and everything should essentially be going to the bottom. Uh, but there we go, we're inside, we're taking the things, we're doing what we need to do, and yeah, all that's left is the final assault. Shouldn't be too bad. Uh, I mean, it's not as fun when you don't have split breeder, but, you know, they, they, they get a chance, of course. Uh, but we're making so much creep, this is just gonna go down. So, we're coming from this side, right here. Not too bad, not too bad. Let's just, uh, again, we're just gonna plan on going for the next map. I'm super excited to see where this goes, because if we do get multiple orbs, I would love that. I, I think having... Uh, even just two orbs, right? If we can do, like, one from each side and stuff, I think that's going to be super, super cool. It's basically like having two mice. Mice? I mean, I guess it is two mice, but it's just weird saying that when you're using a mouse. 
uh, having two mice. <laughs> I've never actually had that on a computer before. Uh, it's just like having two of those active at once, so do love that aspect of it. Uh, this is a nice area, too, right here, because it, it is... You know, you can't just push through very easily, right? There's these tiny little connectors you kind of have to get through. Uh, oh, actually, we did get through there, didn't we? Oh, I think we did. Yeah, we got through. Okay, good, 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 good. Fantastic. Let's take a look at what it's doing. Oh, I thought we were through. I thought we were complete. Ah, uh, there we go. Yeah, that's, that's where we want to be. Now that we're there, we've made our good connection on land, right? So, yeah, as we can see, we've already moved over here, which is fantastic going through. Uh, they are currently just done with their breeding cycle, so we have to deal with that. But once we do, we can see the creep is actually diminishing substantially faster. So move it up. Keep it going. Move it up. Move it up. Just do a little, do a little quick moves. Hold for breeding. Hold the push. The breeding is going to happen again soon, unfortunately, but maybe we'll get a couple of steps in and we might actually be able to take out some of their breeding potential. Um, they are breeding right now, but again, we've, we've pushed them in relatively far. Uh, see, if we had two, we could have one over here making its way. It'd be pretty amazing. Uh, I do want to... Ooh, see, that's the problem. See, that's the problem. When it does breed, uh, of course... Uh, it does sort of push into our uh, our cursor or blorb uh, blue orb is a blorb and there we go all we have left is that tiny tiny bit and that should be the reclaim actually took longer than i was expecting so the more you know and that's that part very cool i do like that uh it's a shame that not every pathway was connected i think you kind of need to have like all of them but you know it's okay so if I put that over there, there should be no AC. Oh no, it is just generating AC. So it does just generate AC. Why would, uh, maybe it wasn't strong enough when it was over here because there really wasn't any, or maybe it generates if there's no creep. Hmm. More exploration is needed. Uh, let's move on to the second map though. Fantastic, love it, love it, love it. Uh, definitely took me longer than I wanted to though. So took me a bit to figure out. And again, if it does just work in creep, then that does change things as well. So let's go with Neo Cursor 2. Uh, Captain, or CPT, also called Cursor Power Towers, uh, will amplify your cursor already. Oh! So it's an amplification. No, don't speedrun this. It's pretty boring to speedrun as optimally you want to frame advance and instantly take out all the creeper. Oh, so if you, like, super speedrun it. We're not going to super speedrun. We're just going to have fun. Okay, it is another small map. Uh, see? I told you we could trust the orb. Those powers are awesome, though I wish uh, they were a bit stronger. Can we manufacture more of these ourselves? Yes, but I found another structure which can do the same for way cheaper. Those cursor power... Oh, these cursor power towers, or CPT, will amplify the orbs, allowing your... Uh, for more anti-creeper production. Okay, so CPTs will amplify the orbs, not our actual cursor. Got it. Uh, the only thing uh, needed to activate them is anti-creeper, and they'll only deactivate once there's no anti-creeper at its location. So keep them filled, and they'll be happy. That's splendid. Let's activate those CPTs as fast as possible. I have a feeling we'll need them. As always, our goal should be to reclaim, as there's no emitters and no creeper ramping. Since our anti-creeper beam orb seems to be able to create anti-creeper in space, I think we should definitely go ahead and create some anti-creeper in space. Now don't forget to press I to move the or uh, orb to the cursor. This is the last time I'm saying this. Of course he knows that. Why do you have to repeat it, though? Just let people do whatever they want, okay? It isn't hurting anybody. I no longer regret coming here. This is way more interesting than other Crusader parties. All right, so our Crusader team is going along. Uh, we are going to do this in... Ooh, so that must be a CPT over there. Fantastic. So we have three CPTs, four CPTs, five CPTs. Okay, so we are going to get relatively strong as the map goes on. But we are going to do this in a normal fashion. You know, we're not going to just super speed run it. We are just going to try and have some fun because, you know what? That's that's We were told to. We were told by the map maker to have fun. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start... Right, unpause move it over here so it does just create anti-creep over there this will spread out which will be nice uh and we do have the option to create anti-creep in space right so if we were to move it over there see that does fill up space which is awesome i'm assuming space is more power so 
more power, more good. So let's just fill up space a little bit. And let's move out from here. Again, we could have we could work on just utter destruction. Uh, but you know what? We're we're going for fun. We're going for fun. Uh, again, we'll, we'll toss it up to times two speed. Uh, not gonna try and break the map in this case. We're just gonna try and see how well things flow. So I just want to see if we were to put it right here, for instance, is that going to take out the creep? I just I just want to see for a second. If we just leave it there. Is that going to take out the creep? So it does look like the creep is going down. Is anti-creep actually spawning though? See? I, I don't know. I really can't tell. It doesn't seem like it's working. Maybe, maybe I'm just wrong. Because that does look like it's going down relatively quick. But see, the anti-creep, if it was spawning, should be able to take that out. So my guess is it does not spawn. It can spawn on nothing, but it can't spawn on creep. That is my, because yeah, look at how much it's spawning, right? It just can't spawn where there is nothing. So yeah, that's that's my final word on it, uh, as far as I am concerned. Maybe it's wrong, but that's the way it does appear because we're easily taking this out when we are using the creep or the the AC itself. So let's just go for our first tower, get it going, use space to our advantage afterwards so we can climb the hill. And then, yeah, get our butt moving. Uh, thankfully, I guess you could say thankfully, in one regard, uh, we did... Oh, ooh, let's, let's make sure our side wins there, yeah. And let's get our first tower. Uh, just a nice little experiment. We probably could have, like, loaded up. Like, we can load up over here. Which maybe we should do. But first, let's get our tower. It's right here. I don't know what it's going to do. I don't know. Well, I mean, I know what it's going to do. It's going to make it better, but I don't know how much better, right? So now it should be active. I hope. I'm assuming it's making it better. You know, that's that's what it's designed to do. So, <laughs> again, just got to trust. A trust and believe. Tricky Corp did make the cursor map, so I have full confidence. And here we go. Just fill up space. Just a little dabble do you. See, the space uh, can actually just completely skip areas, which is kind of cool. We just went from space to straight up taking this over right here. Uh, that's what we want to see, of course, because you know what? Boom. Done and done. I do also like that we can do this without having a map indicator on, um, because, you know, the orb itself is the indicator, right? That's, that's where the AC is coming from. So it doesn't even matter. So we can just leave that in space right there. It just jumps the edge and bazinga. We are right to the split breeder. Don't even have to worry about pushing through and stuff. I really, really like that. So super, super cool. Just cleared that out. So if we want to take this out, we don't start up there. We just start in space. Uh, it is breeding right now, so unfortunate. But there we go. We have now just taken this entire island because there's no creep spawning there. So easy peasy. <laughs> Uh, and what over here let's grab some of this again using space gotta love it it's so rare that you get to use space at least as a uh, a Terran I guess you could call it. I mean human non creep side you know whatever, whatever you want to call it right there but say we you can use space just make some quick gains get up here no problemo and yeah that's uh not too bad. I really like these. I think they are super, super cool. Uh, we just gained another orb for ourselves, so that is pretty much all of them. So we should be at maximum power. Let's see what maximum power looks like. Looks pretty good. Looks pretty good. Let's get one. Okay, so there is one more. I am blind. There is one more right there. So let's go for that. Clear out the rest, but, I mean, realistically, that's all that's left. Uh, so we'll grab this, work our way towards the final objective. Unfortunately, they are breeding quite a lot, and it's causing some strife, you know? It's, there's a lot of creep in here, uh, which kind of sucks, but we do have the mystical orb of power. Now, once we get our fifth tower, I kind of hope that's going to really, really jumpstart the amount of power that we have, uh, because, you know, we're, we're barely holding on, right? It's, it's not looking the best. You know, we are just a spot, a spot in the world at the moment. 
but it looks like, yeah, see, it looks like we got that, and I mean, it looks like we're now able to expand, whereas before we were just sort of holding on, uh, it does look like we are expanding. Now, that being said, what's the best thing to do? I mean, we don't, barely expanding is one thing, but just completely shutting down the enemy is what we want to see, right? So let's just move our butt up here, get to the top, and as soon as we take this, the map is ours, of course. So, I think... Ooh. <laughs> there we go. Want to be up top, of course. And beautiful. Now we're starting to take their breeding for our own. Yeah, we lost down here. Uh, but as long as we hold this right here, once all of the uh, breeded uh, creeper goes away, we now hold the top. They're not actually producing anymore. And it doesn't matter. Boom. There we go. We have just bred and... Now we can get our tower back. It doesn't even matter. Super, super easy. The breeding is ours. The tower is ours. The creep is gone. And yeah, that's that's our reclaim right there. So there's the tower. Let's go back to space. Let's fill space up. You know, let's... Boom, 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 boom. Come on, space. Love it. Love it, love it, love it. Fill it all in. Zing. Oh, it's so good. So very good. I do really like these. It's, it's a really cool take on the cursor style so there we go full power so much ac and we'll grab some more so looking forward to doing more of these in the future but that is all for today thank you so much for joining me i hope you enjoyed uh please leave a like comment subscribe all that good stuff again this is just a fun little relaxed cursor map uh and just learning learning it you know definitely can do it better but we're, we're just having fun so hopefully you have a wonderful day I'll catch you next time, and take care. Thank you so much.